Hello YouTube, my name is James. Welcome to Rising Potential. Welcome to a brand new series on Rising Potential called The Road to the Four Shot BR. Now, in this gameplay, I use the DMR right off the bat to see if I can do good with it, and of course, I fail miserably, so from this forward on, I use the BR. If you notice a few changes, I actually color-corrected the hell out of this gameplay. I thought this may be a nice little twist to uh, maybe enhance the gameplay, rather than just having a regular standard game, you get to see it look a little bit, more, a, a, a little bit prettier uh, with some color correction. And I might put some more music in the background. I'm, I'm trying to figure out ways to enhance gameplays to make it different than just watching a gameplay with someone talking over it. I feel like color correction is a cool way to enhance it, add some music in the background, maybe add some effects here and there. But then again, using effects takes up a lot of work. And do I really want to put that effort into a gameplay? I don't know. Um, so this is going to be a trial to see how this works out. But I do want to continue a series like this called The Road to the Four Shot BR. Uh, because that is my goal. I'm trying to be better at Halo 4. I'm trying to give tips on how to get better at Halo 4. I think that this, this was like one of the very first games with the weapon tuning update where I used the BR quite a bit. I do die quite a bit looking back. I thought it did much better than I did originally, but I still do pretty good. I, th I think I get like 20 something, over 20 kills easily with the BR. Um, and uh, I, I just want to talk about a bit about the weapon tuning update. So the battle rifle. So the battle rifle used to be, in my opinion, probably one of the weakest if not the weakest rifle in halo 4 before the weapon tuning update the battle rifle not the battle rifle the dmr was hands down the dominant weapon without a doubt and i always loved using different weapons like the carbine and light rifle but they were really no match for the dmr which was a shame since the weapon tuning update came in they really just buffed the hell out of the battle rifle and the light rifle and carbine are even more powerful than, than they were before and uh, now there's a thing called a four shot BR where you shoot the enemy in the head four times, they go down instantly. Um, and there's also this nice little combo called a two shot beatdown. You shoot them in the head twice and then you melee them and they're dead. But I'm pretty sure you have to shoot them in the head twice, then melee them. I, I, I think I tried shooting them like in the body twice, then melee them, and then I just knock out their shield and nothing happened. So two shots to the head, melee dead, and four shots to the head, instant death. Um, so the BR. How can you get better at this weapon? Well, my good friend, I know him as Doritos, that's his gamer tag on Xbox Live, he is amazing with the battle rifle, and he used to use the DMR all the time, and now he uses the battle rifle pretty much every single game. And I asked him, like, how do you always hit your shots? And he told me, I just make sure that I don't miss, meaning every shot that I shoot, I make sure is at the head no matter what. And if I do miss... Uh, he tries to really qu qu quickly correct himself as soon as possible. Uh, for me, I'm getting slightly better at the four shot BR. It's a bit challenging because, you know, the enemies keep moving. And uh, in this game, you know, stuff like that, you, you, know, you, 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 you can't allow that to happen. Pretty much, um, I would only recommend you going after two people if you're, maybe if, if you're behind them. Um, or if you're incredibly confident in yourself that you will not win and you're confident, I mean, that you will win and you're confident that the enemy will miss you, I guess go for it. But uh, four shot BR, again, like that, I want to get every single game to be four shot. This is a series called The Road to the Four Shot BR where pretty much, or I, I'm, I'm going to get to the point eventually to where every single time I see somebody, it's an automatic four shot from the battle rifle, meaning instant death. Um, so... It's, it's, it's definitely really challenging, and uh, I'm definitely seeing myself having some issues with this. Uh, and I always forget to use the two-shot beatdown. I always try to just go for four shots. Um, if they're right next to me, you know, two-shot, boom, dead. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it, it, it really is like an adrenaline rush, and it's kind of hard to really just get the hang of it. But um, this is the first game. Uh, this is a game that I played a long time ago, like, like a month ago. I think the weapon update is, has, has been out for over a month. It should be. But this is an, an, an old game. And uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better with the four shot. But I'm, 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 I still haven't perfected it. Because it, it's weird. Because some games, I'll go really well. And then as I keep playing Halo 4, by the end of the day, I'm, and I, I, I go from doing like four to five shots to like ten shots. I, I, I keep missing. Um... I don't know if that's like me playing too much or if that's just me getting nervous or just me getting antsy. Uh, see, like that, like that was way too many shots. Um, and I kept shooting around him. I, I wasn't shooting directly at him. 
And it's a lot, you know, harder to say, do this, than actually do it in the game. I think that was like a five, six shot or whatever. Uh, I think it was a five shot. Yeah. Pretty much, I'm just trying to get myself better. And, like, the really best way to do a four shot VR, like, the best way to train is just to keep playing. And I'm using the pistol because I, I, I ran out of uh, battle rifle ammo. And I think I do die coming up. And then I, I, I get a new VR. Uh, I, I actually couldn't find any ammo either. Uh, so let's talk about this map. I forget what this map's called. I wasn't really paying attention. But uh, this map, it's um, it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, there's a map coming up where I did an, another game uh, on a map called Black Sight. That map is freaking chaotic, and that's on erosion. This is on impact. Uh, this map, I don't know. It's uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I don't really like losing on it. <laughs> Uh, I think if you, you, you must have the higher ground, you must have the higher ground, uh, if, 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 if you don't, then you're, you're, you're definitely screwed, and the only way that you can lose if, you know, if, is, if the person down below has more skill than you, and, and then they just out-BR you. So, another thing that I want to talk about is kind of like gaming addictions in the gameplay itself. Is every time I, at least for me, every time I shoot somebody and kill them, I automatically reload. And I think I mentioned this in a game of SWAT a couple, or not a couple, but a while ago, that if you reload uh, right after you kill somebody, you are open to an attack. And say, say I'm fighting somebody and I out VR them, I four shot them. But. The, the person that I faced was pretty good, so maybe they got three shots on me before I... But they, they got three shots on me, and one more shot, I would have been dead, but I, I luckily out br them, and I got the four shot on them. So, I am one shot away from dying. And I'm out in the open, and I decide to, instead of retreat, I, I, I decide to reload or something. I could have spent more time getting away, or possibly aiming at another person, than reloading. Because when you reload, you are pretty much open to fire. Uh, you're pretty much saying, hey guys, I'm here, shoot me, and uh, that's not good. So, I mean, I do it a lot in this gameplay. Uh, as soon as I kill somebody, I pretty much instantly reload. Um, unless you pretty much know where that you're not going to be attacked, I recommend don't do it. Because um, as you can see, four shot BR, you only need, uh, let's see, yeah, four open shots in your clip to kill people. So, if there's 36 in a clip, you need four, that's four times three. That's 12. So you, you need at least 12 bullets to kill somebody. If they have full shield. Uh, but most of the time, you probably are fighting people with full shield. So as long as you have 12 shots in, in, in your clip, then you're fine. But I think the biggest thing is that you always want to have a full clip. Because, you know, just like, like sometimes I'll miss a 4 shot. And then I'll need to go for a 5 or a 6 or maybe even a 7 shot. And I'll be out of ammo and then I'll be dead. So I, I think it's always good to have a full clip. But just don't do it if you're, like, right in front of somebody, obviously. Like, you're out in the open. That tends to happen a lot, at least to me. Like, I'll always think, oh, I'm by myself. I reload, and all of a sudden, I'm getting uh, shot from a distance. I'm like, oh, shit. And then I back away, or I, I get killed. And they always get, like, a reloading medal for, like, killing somebody while, while they're reloading. That time, okay, I actually killed them. A lot of times, and this happens to me all the time. Like, I will knock out their shield from maybe, like, a far, but I'll never be able to kill them. Like, I'll keep shooting them, and then they get, like, behind a wall, and then I fail to kill them. That happens to me so many times where I take out their shield and I can't take out the rest. You know, I can't take out the trash. Like, they always live. And I'm like, ah! Um, I wonder if the hitboxes are different when the enemy is turned around. Like, if it's the same. Like, if I'm shooting somebody from the back of the head. I wonder if it's the same as shooting them from the front of the head. I think it's different, but I'll have to look on that. But anyway, that was the first part to the road to the four shot BR on this channel. Rising potential. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more future parts of this game series. I uh, I, I eventually intend to get to the four shot BR where I, I get a four shot every single time, but it's gonna take a while. So every so often I'll upload games like this where I only use the BR. So it's the road to the four shot. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Click here for my last video, which was the story issues trailer. Please go watch that. Supported Mission of My Respawn airs on the twentieth, which is this Saturday. And my previous video was Red vs. Blue Season 11, Episode 5 Review. Thank you so much for watching. This is James, The Rising Potential, and I'll catch you all later. See you next time. Bye.